All right, today we're gonna to listen to the story, Motion, Push and Pull, Fast and Slow. The author is Darlene Steele. What does the author do? Yep, you got it, the author writes the book. The illustrator does what? Draws the pictures. So this is illustrated by Sherry Boyd. And as I read this, I want you to think about whether you think this book is fiction or nonfiction. Now, let's review. Fiction means what? Fake or make-believe, correct? All right. And, I want, and then nonfiction means real. Exactly. Okay. So, let's open the book. Oh, what is this? This is the title page. Motion, push and pull, fast and slow. All right. Oh, wow, look. What is this? That's right. It's a table of contents. And we know that a lot of times if we see a table of contents, that gives us a clue. That clue is usually mean usually means that the book is what nonfiction all right it tells us that page four is changing places page six how things move let's get going who's moving experiments facts on the move glossary to learn more and the index okay all right well let's read okay changing places to run, you run to catch the school bus. The bus rolls down the road. Tree branches sway in the breeze. An airplane flies up into the sky. Anything that goes from one place to another is in motion. Okay, and it says at the bottom, fun fact. There are all kinds of words that describe motion. You can run, walk, jump, dance, swim, slide, and skate. Birds soar, snakes slither, monkeys swing from tree to tree. What other motion words can you think of? All right, how things move. Up and down, forward and backward. Sometimes things move in straight lines. Fun fact, one car travels over a hilly road. Another car travels over a winding road. Both cars are moving in curved lines. That's like what you did on Monday. You moved in zigzags and straight lines and curved lines, forward, backward. Okay. Move this out of the way. All right, sorry y'all. Sideways or around and around. Some things move in curved lines. A car whizzes down the road. A baseball crashes through a window. Some things move quickly. Fun fact. How fast something moves is called its speed. You can measure speed. When the needle on a car speedometer points to 60, it means that it will take one hour for the car to move 60 miles. A baby crawls across a room. A ball of yarn unwinds and rolls away. Some things move slowly. So we things can move fast or quick and some things can move slow. Let's get going. 
A kick from your foot makes the ball scoot across the field. Stepping on the gas pedal makes the car drive away. Inertia is a property of all matter. Inertia won't let things move unless a force gets them going. A kick is the force that moves a ball. A motor creates the force that moves a car. Fun fact, pushing down on the car's gas pedal adds force. There's a, um, a word, push, a force word. It makes the car go faster and faster. Going faster and faster is called acceleration. <clears throat> your bag slips off your shoulder. What is the force that got it going? What makes yo-yos dip and water spill? Why do baseballs curve down? The Earth's gravity is the force that pulls everything down toward the ground. Fun fact. Things speed up as they fall. A raindrop that is close to the ground is falling faster than a raindrop high up in the sky. So that big word is gravity. That's what makes things come down. So if you throw something up in the air, gravity is going to bring it right back down. A rolling ball, a speeding car, and a falling raindrop will keep moving until something stops them. Inertia also makes moving things keep on moving. You need to wear a seatbelt because of inertia. Suppose your car stops suddenly. Your body will keep moving forward until a force stops it. A seat belt stops your body and keeps you safe. Fun fact. Inertia also keeps things moving in one direction. It takes an outside force to turn or spin something. Your bike won't turn unless you move the handlebars. Kites won't dip without wind. A baseball won't curve down without gravity. The ball you kicked rolls across the grass. As the grass rubs against it, the ball slows down and stops. This rubbing is called friction. Friction is a force that makes things slow down or stop moving. Anything that rubs can cause friction, even air. People who design airplanes think a lot about how to keep air from slowing things down. So when you kick the soccer ball or any kind of ball on the grass, the grass creates friction and that slows the ball down. But think about when you, if you kicked it across the driveway or the road, there's nothing there causing friction so it doesn't slow it down very much. Okay. Fun fact, you need friction to walk from one place to another. Your shoes rub against the ground. This makes friction. That keeps you from sliding all over the place. Who's moving? You are on a moving bus. Some friends outside see you looking out the window and wave. Your friends outside think you are moving fast. But what about the friends next to you? Does this friend think that you are moving fast? Not at all. Fun fact. Think about driving down the highway. The cars in the other lanes don't seem to be moving fast when your car is moving alongside them. The world is full of motion. You can't sense 
Even as you read this book, you are speeding through space. You are on the earth, and the earth is spinning around and circling the sun. Remember, we learned about that. Leaves are fluttering, raindrops are falling, cars are whizzing by. Look for motion and the forces that create it in everything around you. Fun fact. It looks like the sun moves across the sky, but that is not the case at all. The earth is moving. As the part of the earth that you are on turns toward the sun, it becomes day. As the same part of the earth turns away, it becomes night. We already learned about that, didn't we? All right. So, I want you to... We're going to stop the video, and I would like for you to discuss with someone whether you think this book is fiction or nonfiction. And I would like for you to respond to me on the seesaw activity that I'm going to post.